Welcome back to another video on the channel. We're just having a good day. As you've been I'm be showing you guys how to get the max FPS that you can in Rust. So if you're playing in a PS5, you're going to be getting 120 FPS, maybe a little bit more. If you're playing on base consoles like PS4s, um, I'm pretty sure PS4 Pro can go up a little bit higher. I don't know. But um, if you're playing on anything that's not a PS5 or an Xbox Series S or X, you're going to be running at the max your console can go, which is probably 60. And then, like I said, PS5 and Xbox Series S are 120. Let's say I know the PS5 is, I'm pretty sure Series S should also be the same thing, or X. But, um, yeah, pretty much all you have to do is um, just change just one setting. And when I did it, even for the PS4, usually it runs at 30 FPS. It, like, it normally Rush runs at 30 FPS for the PS4 and any base console that's not the new gen. New gen usually runs at 60, so it's still pretty smooth, but it, it, it can get you up to 120 when you do this little trick. But yeah, for the PS4, you're going to be going up to 60, same with any of the older gen consoles like Xbox One and all that. Um, you're going to be going up to at least 60 FPS max, like all the time. Like I noticed a difference when I switched it on, I was like, oh my god, like this, it just was such a better, more like smoother, it was just really crazy. It was really good. And then for the PS5, like I said, you know, 120. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over to settings. Also, I forgot to say that this is for PTB right now. I'm pretty sure the update should be coming like really soon, like... I think the next week or two so I'm just gonna give you guys like a little heads up so when it does come out you guys can quickly switch it on be the first people to have it on and I'm running at the better FPS but you're gonna go over to graphics all the way down here you're gonna click graphics and pretty much just copy my settings you don't have to do feel that you don't have to copy any of this just turn terrain if you want the highest FPS then turn terrain quality to the lowest it goes so very low so put this as low as you can and then put FPS limit off because this pretty much what it does is if you have this on all it does is just help like well like it says locks the frame rate and enables v-sync so pretty much if you turn this off if you're on a base ps4 console pretty much your screen's gonna start tearing a little bit which isn't really that bad it's not like it's not gonna like do anything it's not really it's gonna affect your games a little bit but not really like it's just gonna make your game like like maybe sometimes like a little little p bits of your game are gonna be frozen while the other parts are gonna be moving but it's only for like a few seconds or if you spin around really quick so which probably not gonna be spinning around really quick and it's really only for a few seconds so it's way worth it in my opinion i think it's really worth it to just turn it on even though you might have a little bit of screen tear or screen tear it's not really that bad i'd rather have that and have 60 fps than have 30 fps and no screen tear um if you turn this very low i haven't really tried these two together but i know it's gonna definitely help out a lot that actually might that actually might get rid of the screen tear so turn turn these two on tell me how it how it is and yeah you put on depth of field too this should also help out the fps so it's not loading in things from the back so this is i'm pretty much just helping you guys out with like as much fps as i can give you so pretty much i'm pretty sure if you turn off blood too that might help so turn off blood depth of field terrain quality is very low as it can fps limit off and you'll have the max fps motion blur on too you'll have the most fps your game can even run at like this thing will be running super smooth ps5 you're, running, you're pretty much already fine if you just turn off fps limit and then um turn on terrain quality very low you should be very you should be pretty much fine actually ps5 could probably be good at high but if you're on any base console i recommend turning it to the lowest it can go very low off pretty much just copy all my settings to do this and your thing should be fine but i don't like it like that so i'm just thinking like this but i'm pretty sure if you do it like that it, you should get like the max fps your console can run at but i like i like the call i like having like better quality and stuff so i kind of leave that up but um yeah so just do that and then you'll have the max fps your console can give and um, rest of you, pretty good for you. Hope you guys have a good day. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.